Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here from the Knife Center coming at you from SHOT Show 2020. I'm here at Best Tech's booth because we've got a couple of new models that I'm going to introduce you to that are going to be available for order very soon on the Knife Center. The first one is a new version of the Tulip. Of course, this is an O-Stop Hell design. And you've seen this before with the standard blade, with the M390 blade, but now we're coming out with a Damasteel version as well. This is going to be the frame lock version. The uh, non-locking version is not going to come in the Dama Steel for now. This is just going to be available with the lock. I think that's perfectly fine myself. Folds up nice and small. You can fit it in that little fifth jean pocket. Opens very easy and you've got that really cool folding Kiridashi type shape. Get some really, really good box cutter, um, obviously. More than anything else, I think, just a great everyday utility blade that's gonna serve you very well. Titanium frame, of course, we've got this cool anodized color with it. All right, this next knife is called the Camoza, and this is sort of, kind of a, a bolder take on the Quaken style design. We have this very upswept trailing point Tonto blade with a wide bevel here at the front, or a wide, uh, wide area, I should say, out here near the front. But it folds up, nice and narrow. I mean, that folds right there into the back of the handle, doesn't take up a lot of space in your pocket, and you've still got those premium materials. We're working with M390 steel in this case, and a titanium frame. Two different finishes uh, to start out with. We've got sort of the gold anodized frame, and that comes with a hand rub finish on the blade, as well as a version with a stone wash blade and sort of a matching stone wash titanium handle. Nice rough and tumble, so you've got kind of the prettier version and the, uh, the more hardworking, heavy, heavy duty type version between the two. Two different aesthetics, but it's the same great knife right across the way. All right, next up we have the Costa. A little more of a swooping design than the previous knife. We've got this sort of upswept blade, kind of rides the line of somewhere in between a modified sheep's foot or a reverse tanto. You know, classifications can get hard sometimes but it's a knife that's gonna give you a good working profile. It's got a nice upswept belly there across the whole edge of the blade. It's gonna move with your elbow as you cut, but the point, because you have that belly, the point sticks up a little bit. You're gonna be able to do some good tip work, some good piercing as well. Frame is titanium, really nice swooping lines in there, carbon fiber inlay as well. And as you'd expect, titanium frame lock flipper, runs on bearings, flips really well. The finger hole here, or blade cutout I should say, works very well for me with the thumb, provided you're not putting too much pressure on the lock bar right there. And it's really, it's nicely chamfered out. So you don't have any sharp edges really to work, or to worry about when you're operating that with your thumb. Pocket clip on these, single position, same thing with those other two knives. These are right hand bias knives, but the lockup's great, the flipping action is great. And if you like what you see here, we're gonna leave links in the description below. It'll take you over to knifecenter.com so you can get your orders in. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Thanks for watching our SHOT Show coverage. Stick around for more.